If you've ever found yourself manually sketching lines to represent a cross break on a sheet metal part, SolidWorks has a tool that will take care of that for you. Here, I have a simple sheet metal part, and I want to add a cross break to the bottom face to give it some more rigidity. I can activate the cross break tool from the sheet metal toolbar or from the insert sheet metal drop down menu. The selection box asks me to select the face or faces I would like to add to the cross break. I'll select the bottom face. I can use the reverse direction button or click the arrow in the graphics area to change the direction of the cross break. You can also use the Edit Cross Profile button to edit the position of the sketch lines. When I click it, a window appears saying that the sketch is valid. Notice the sketch lines have coincident relations at each corner. If I delete one of the relations and move the sketch inward a little bit, the message window tells me that one of the endpoints of the sketch is not on one of the face's edges. As soon as I create a coincident relation between the endpoint and the edge, the message window tells me that the sketch is now valid. I can make more changes to the sketch as long as each endpoint is on an edge. Once I'm finished making changes, I'll click back to return to the property manager. The next two options let me define the break radius and the break angle of the cross break. Now keep in mind that the cross break feature does not actually change or deform the model in 3D. The idea behind this feature is that it'll automatically create the sketch lines, reference dimensions, and annotations that appear in the drawing to represent a cross break. When I click OK, the cross break is created. Notice that nothing has changed other than the appearance of the cross break lines. This is simply a representation of the cross break. I can still add edge flanges to the other edges of the part, and I can flatten and fold the part without any problems. At this point, I'll create a drawing to show you how the cross break is represented in a 2D drawing. When I insert the flattened view of the part, you can see the annotation that is given to the cross break. It shows the direction of the cross break, the bend angle, and the bend radius that I specified in the property manager.